Hello everybody. Okay, so now we're on to lesson 12, level 2, and this is going to be about display, direction, and wrap. So we're still talking about organizing content with Flexbox, um, and like I said, uh, some of my students have found this a little challenging, so we're just going to make the tutorials, and they're updated because it seems like uh, Code.org has updated their curriculum. So if you look back at the tutorials from four or five, six years ago, they're slightly outdated. So we're going to update things and give everybody a resource to do this and be amazing. Here we go. All right. So, um, okay. So first off, I want to point out a couple things. The instructions are here and we're going to go through those, but right here next to that is the help and tips. If you click on this at any time, it is going to show you a lot of little documents that will help you with this specific level. So if I click on div tags, it will actually tell me about div tags. And then I can go through and I can read through this if I'm struggling. And so it has for div tags and container properties and classes and all the stuff that you need to succeed. The other thing that I want to point out is here, if we click on this triangle, this shows us actually all the lessons and all of the uh, levels for everything. And if we go to view unit overview, it's going to take us to this. So again, here's all the lessons and next to each lesson is a lesson resource. So if I scroll down here and go to lesson 12 and click on lesson resources, it will open up specific uh, information that will help me with this lesson. So vocabulary, what is a flex box? Well, it's a layout model and CSS for displaying items. Um, what is a div tag? So it's the HTML division tag called div for short is an element that lets you group sets of content together in a container. All right. So I've got some vocab here. This is a code that is being introduced. So there's the start tag, there's the end tag. Um, and then the resources, this is the thing that I really love. Uh, you can open up a handout. So if I open up this handout, yeah, there we go. So if I open up this handout, um, it gives me a cheat sheet to help me with this level. So the main properties, and then if I scroll down additional properties, so lots and lots and lots of great resources to help me with this level. All right, so let's get into it. Um, we're going to go back to instructions. So it says display direction and wrap. The first three steps we typically follow when applying flex properties are one, establish the layout, two, define the flow direction and if items should wrap, and three, define how the items should be distributed. Let's try out the first two steps. One, establish flex layout, and two, define the direction and wrap. So the do this part. So this is where we actually get to practice. So add a div container around the image tags. All right. So if I look in the index.html file, it shows the comment right here. Add a div container with a class attribute around the six images. All right. So I'm going to create my start tag. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to create my end tag. All right, so now I've created that, but it's not just creating a tag. I have to create a container with a class attribute. All right, so I'm going to say class equals container. Let's, let's make it nice and easy. All right, and here's how I know I was successful because over here, there is now a purple container around the six images. And that tells me that now I've got something to work with. So um, I've added a div container on the image tags, check. I've added the class name container to the div tag, check. Um, and now I need to go into the CSS file. So we're gonna go there, style.css. And again, so there's my container tag. So I, I did the right one, container. Um, in the index file, it will have quotes around it but in this style.css file, it will have a period at the front of it. All right, so we gave the div container a background color so you can see how the items are positioned within it. So background and then the color, all right? So first, create a flex layout context. Well, what does that mean? All right, so it says establish flex layout with display flex. 
So all I have to do is come up here and copy what I see right there. All right, so that's done. Define the flow direction with flex direction row. Well, where am I going to do that? All right, right here. Then define the flow direction and if the item should wrap. So here's where I'm going to just copy exactly what I see here. So I'm going to copy that down here. So flex direction row semicolon and then define if item should wrap with flex wrap. So I'm going to do the same thing right here. And I'm going to say flex wrap wrap. All right. And change the size of your preview window to see if the wrapping affects. All right. So I'm going to refresh and save just to be sure. And then I'm going to, all right, so it works. And I know that it works because if it didn't, then the six and the five and the four would disappear off the screen. So we are good to, with that. Change the values for the flex direction properly to see what each one does. Value options include row. So that would be this right here. Row reverse. So let's try that. Up. Oh, all right. Do you guys see what happened? So instead of one through six, now it's six through one. So it reverses all of the images in that container. All right, next we're going to try column. All right, and we can see that it's exactly what it did. It made a column. And then for column reverse, same thing. It reversed the images. So now instead of one through six, I have six through one. All right. <clears throat> So we did that part. So now it says change the values for the flex wrap property to see what each one does. Value options include wrap, no wrap, and wrap reverse. All right, so I'm going to turn this back to row. And we're going to come down here. So we know what wrap does. Wrap means that when I smush the browser, um, whatever's on the line, instead of going off the page, will wrap down to the next line. So what happens when I press no wrap? All right, there we go, exactly what I said. So instead of it going to the next line, it goes off the page. All right. And then there's one more for us to try, and that is wrap reverse. So now let's see what that does. Oh, so it wraps, but it wraps upward instead of downward. All right, so the one through six Instead of six coming down here, it goes up there. All right, that's cool to know. And then one last thing I want to point out before we say we're done with this level is this button right here. So if I open this, it will actually show me a, a little movie, a little GIF of what I need to do. So if you think back to what we did at the beginning, I added the div tag. And this is showing me exactly that div class container and then div. All right, and then it goes to the next file and it shows me exactly what I need to do. So when you're stuck, we have a lot of different options. We have show me how to complete this level. Uh, we have the help and tips. We have the resources and the handouts and the cheat sheets. So there's a lot of really good information to help us get this done. However, we are done with level two, so we're on to level three. Let's go.